Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. So I was a little busy over the weekend with my dot files. And what I mean by that is uh, I added a bunch of stuff. It's important stuff, in fact. Well, I think it's important it's important for me. Uh, let's disable the dock real quick. And let's go and uh, do some stuff. Yeah, some stuff with the top panel. Put it on the right side. Now, unfortunately, at the time and date, it uh, is not allowed to be stacked. Damn it, that doesn't work. <sighs> well, the time is the only thing that's currently messed up, which is fine. We turn that down, we can just do whatever. Just ignore the fact that the time is messed up. But as you can see, uh, it's over on the left side now, because there's weird people out there who enjoy things on the left. And of course, this will follow wherever it goes, which is nice. So if I actually, uh, I really want to right click and be able to go to settings one day, that would be great. I need to implement that. I think that would make it a much better uh, thing. We go all the way down here and go back and we go to the right side. And it ends up going to the right side. See that? That's pretty cool. And once again, it will follow to the right side and everything will work as it should. I think I like that. That's kind of nice. Uh, it didn't take very long, of course, but again, it's something that was a little difficult to do for me uh, because I, I don't know how to explain it to you, but look, it's on the bottom. Yeah. Now we have an actual taskbar. And the only difference is there's no uh, running apps or anything like this on the taskbar, but I guess we could technically just put them there uh, We wanted to be at a top bar we add uh, Running apps See they are right there. We did this Boom now we have technically a taskbar. You just can't pin anything I'll be working on the pinning section later and as you can see the tooltips up top are a little problematic, but that's whatever uh, this still does fully work, which is nice. So if I click there, it brings me to OBS. If I click there, it brings me over to the music video I was about to watch. And, you know, we got the whole start menu thing going on. And I think all that's really left is the ability to scale it up and have the widgets scale with it. Uh, right now, I pretty much think that's not a thing. Like, I guess I could add the ability to scale widgets somewhere, maybe in here, where I just drag and it scales the widgets accordingly. I think that might work, but I don't know. Now if I go to launcher, we, I've added all of these, so you're able to change the app drawer position and the control center position to wherever you want it to be. And there we go, make that a little bit bigger. Take in a little bit of that. Interesting. So, um, yeah, that's a part of it. And for some reason, when it's down here, it doesn't get very much color. It gets more color when it's up there. But uh, this is what's currently work in progress, which I do, in fact, really enjoy. We turn the dock on, it will go above, but... With the dock on, I just tend to put it back on the top and put it back to normal, I believe is 34. Make it a little bit bigger than that. Let's do 40. Hmm? The ability to customize is almost endless at this point, and I'm absolutely in love with it. Uh, I just got to fix a few more things. Now, sound was broken, but again, here we go. You could see all the input devices and everything like that. It's no longer broken. It's actually been completely redone and handled, which is nice. So it will show the input applications, the output applications. I'm still working on the ability to change uh, what sources can be applied to those applications from here. Again, work in progress, but still functioning at least and it looks really nice uh what else did i do oh over the weekend i did confirm that this will show all of your wi-fi connections okay which is nice and 
I still I need to put Bluetooth back. I had Bluetooth here on my laptop, but I forgot to upload it after it was done. Yeah, so that's a thing. Now this is work in progress. The ability to change and set your keybinds accordingly and have your file read uh, is something that I am currently working on. So, uh, like, let's say if I don't use Thunar, Thunar anymore, right? And we, oh, it said editor. You just like trash that. Can I trash that? Yeah, there we go. It's trashed. It's gone. And you hit save. I don't know if it will actually work or not. I'm still trying to make it function, but I think it's a cool idea to implement. Allow the user to go in and customize, add keybinds. I might actually make it so they can like add an auto sort option, things like that. I think that would be really nifty. Uh, there, what else did I try to do here? Oh yeah, in time and date, um, there's bold text now, which is nice. 24 hour now works again. So it shows the AM and PM and does its thing. Uh, stacked format or non-stacked format. You can see it changing up in the top right hand corner. I like stacked, looks better. What else did I ended up doing? Right, I ended up making it so the desktop dank dash widget here uh, is able to be manipulate it from in here because I think that would be kind of nice but I do want to move it into desktop widgets I mean look we can completely get rid of it it's nice it's pretty cool drop shadow we want to make it more visible there it is I just think overall having the ability to change anything you want ends up making a really 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 great desktop environment which is something both GNOME and technically KDE lack to an extent. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Another thing I did change though is this. Let's get rid of the top bar. Go to the dock. I'm going to extend the screen and we're going to center apps. Okay, turn this off, turn this on. You may notice that it now resets, which is what I want. Because before it would end up Okay, it still does it. But to be fair, this needs to be on for this to work. So I should probably make it so this button is required to use this button. But, uh, yeah. I think that definitely works. Why this is so big, though? It's probably because of the launcher icon, isn't it? Made it a little bit bigger than I'm used to. Let's try to... Like, right about there is fine. Actually, I usually put it around 34. I don't know. Maybe I made the dock a little bit bigger than I'm used to as well. Oh, yeah. Usually it's right about here. Hmm. Dock pattern. I don't know. It just feels bigger than normal. I don't know what's going on. Is it the fact that I implemented this? This is basically your ability to scale the settings. The window scale. The width is a little bit buggy. The height, not really so much. But I figured it's just a little easier to do this. Let's scale the icons, you know. Having better control is probably your best bet but yeah there you go i do want to move the dock the ability to move the dock there there and there as well i think that would be kind of interesting to do you know what i mean um yeah so we have the app launcher is that the workspace get rid of the weather right and then we would just like add all the same widgets here but yeah, it ends up resetting now, which is nice. Get rid of this. I don't like that. I like the weather more. There we go. So let's uh, turn off centered apps and put the dock back to normal. Now, why that ended up being so big? Weird. I'll have to figure that as well. It's always nice to find bugs and to be able to fix them. But yeah, 
we now have uh, the ability to completely and utterly change the settings according to what you want to scale, including the font. Which is nice. I believe it's really, really helpful to do that. I do need to clean it up a tad, but yeah. Uh, is there anything else at the bottom that I added? Nope. Other than that, we should be good to go. And that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed these updates. I'm actually going to push them right now. And I'll see you guys next time.